Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf! It's snowing in tomorrow's toy day! Oh, it's so exciting! Anyway, yesterday we gave Isabelle a very dubious birthday present, which we're gonna go do the ceremony for right about now. But uh, today it is snowing out, and I want to talk about some things you can do while it is snowing out, because there are some things that I have glossed over. Just because there's a lot going on whenever it snows, and I don't feel like I can talk about everything all at once, so I do try to cover things in sections. And this is something pretty big that I have glossed over. So before we do anything else, I do want to show the ceremony. I haven't shown a ceremony in a little while, so I feel like it's okay just to show one right here. I don't know, some of you might disagree. I suppose you can just skip ahead in the video if you really, really don't want to give Isabel the satisfaction of her birthday. Her belated birthday, but still one nonetheless. Alright, so for the Fire Hydrant Project, yes, I'd be happy to attend. Who is coming out for Isabelle's birthday party of sorts? Wow, this is terrible. Giving her a bathroom for her... Like, I'm basically giving her a toilet for her birthday and letting all of her friends come over and see. <laughs> Biscuit's here! <laughs> of course the other dog comes out, and... Stinky, I guess, makes sense. Uh, Pietro is hiding behind the tree, just awkwardly watching this whole charade. Because he doesn't want to be connected to it. And then Shari is, of course, just here because she's very disconnected with reality, and she thinks that she has relevance to this. Thank you, thank you! Alright, we're gonna get the short and sweet, so let's just jump right in! First up, we have an incredibly short sweet strawberry bear. Take it away! Hooray for everyone! We have a toilet for the dogs! We don't have to- you know, you might think that this is a hooray for everyone is kind of silly because it's only good for Isabelle and Biscuit though, but no, the rest of us don't have to deal with that. I mean, you know, we don't want to have yellow snow. Oh god, I am terrible. I can't believe I'm making jokes about that. What am I, Tim? Alright. Ready, set, pop. There we go. Okay. I feel like I might want to talk to these four animals really quick before we get things going, so how about we do that? Let's get to know them a little bit better. Any of them have conversations for us immediately? Wait a minute! Stinky! Ah, it's the end of the year. I wonder if everyone will do their year-end cleaning and stuff. But more importantly, how can I get the end of year clean? How can I get out of year-end cleaning? I got it! That's it! I can just move out! No need to clean if I'm not there, right? Haha, <laughs> what a great idea! Well, I better get ready. I think I'll leave on the 28th of this month. Stinky. You know... I'm kinda hurt by this, guys. The fact that he just wants to get out of cleaning, and he doesn't care that he's saying goodbye to all of his friends to do it. Stinky, you're kind of a jerk. I mean, think about what you're saying before you speak. I, I know that that sounds very, very bad coming from me, though, because I very rarely do, but... If that's really how you feel and you're not kidding, Stinky, I'm not sure I want to have you around. Thanks for everything, Emil. I'm excited about my life's journey. Just don't let me hear about you slacking off in your training, okay? Well, that was unexpected. That Stinky was a good friend of mine. Uh, Biscuit, you're a good friend of mine still, right? Right? I'm gonna wanna chat. I heard a rumor about you. Everyone's saying you're kind of a civic leader. I'm jealous of which our popular... <laughs> they always say this. Come on, Biscuit. I wanna hear you say something new. Come on. You say that like... Well, you, you don't say it a lot, but everyone does. Pretty forgivable, but I record my good times in a notebook of my heart. Aww, that's kind of cute. Uh, who else do we got? Chester, you are not home yet again! Man, I play at all different times and I always make a note to walk by his house, he's just never home. Yes, tomorrow is toy day! Pretty sure I'm the one looking forward to it the most, rookie. Anyway, between you and me, I asked Jingle for a piece of furniture this year. Okay, that's good to know. I don't suppose Shari is still around. Pietro! Okay. Ah, uh, okay. That does make me feel a little bit better. Good day for a nice cup of peach. For a cup of peach, Lassie. Oh, he okay. Never mind. Not that kind of Lassie. <laughs> Jingle finally arrives tomorrow. I'm so excited around this time of year. Aren't you excited too, Emil? Aww. Jingle is very similar to the Santa Claus of this world, if you guys couldn't tell, and. I don't know, just one of my absolute fondest memories of just anything Christmas related was that I got to tell my cousins about Santa Claus many, many years ago when they didn't know about him before. And just seeing just that magic in their eyes, just, you know, their, just their whole reaction to like hearing about what he's like and what he does, just, uh, it's one of my fondest Christmas memories of all. It's so good. And, you know, I, I do have to say, even though Toy Day formally gets celebrated in the world of Animal Crossing, that was great placement. 
I do like how they include other holidays in it. We haven't seen it yet, though, but there is a menorah that you can get from uh, the Nookling store. There is also the uh, festive flag, which I did recognize as being a Ramadan flag. It's very odd that it was recognized as a New Year's flag in other Animal Crossing games, because that is quite, you know... It's very clearly the flag of Libya, but I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway, I don't need to repeat myself on that. I just, I really do like how they include all these different holidays, though, because, you know, whenever you try to do something that's related to any sort of real-world holiday, you always get called offensive, though, but no one really seems to mind in the world of Animal Crossing, and I like that. You know, kind of takes you back to a simpler time, back when, you know, they had Christmas parties in school, and, you know, they did stuff for Hanukkah and all that, though, but they don't do that anymore. It's, it's really a shame. Anyway... I'm going to go around and do the routine type stuff, and we will get to that thing that I want to show that you can do when it is snowing. Gee, I wonder where the ore is today. <laughs> hey, Rocco, what you doing cooped up in your house tonight? He has a porta potty. Wow. Uh, dang. Hello, Rocco. What are you doing cooped up inside your house? He calls me Ebot now, too. I just realized Rocco has very feminine eyelashes. Maybe that's why he's such a grump, you know, like he's just like mad that you... Furniture is like my family. One's been with me the longest. I'm not entirely sure it's been so long, Cheeky. Um, I hope that this porta potty hasn't been with you the longest because this place would probably smell pretty dang bad if it did. But I don't know, maybe he just got picked on his whole life for having girly eyelashes. Not sure. That's my theory. I don't know if you have any better ones. A nice little detail that I don't think I've ever pointed out is that the music will actually change when it's snowing outside. It'll sound a bit more twinkly and a bit more high pitched. If you want to hear what I mean, I'll be quiet for a moment. See what I mean? It's just a lot more calm, and here we go, bolt and board. Fire hydrant project, nothing else, okay. Okay, I think I'm all done going around 10 doing everything I wanted to do, so, what is the new thing that I wanted to show? If we go down to the ocean, while it is raining or snowing, there is a special fish that you can only catch during this type of weather. And I'm hoping to find one. It is very rare even still, but I really, really hope I can find one. Because this is something that I have really needed to show for a long time, and I don't have much time left to show it because I don't know when it's going to snow and for how long. In fact, I could get screwed and have it stop snowing right here in the middle of this. In uh, previous Animal Crossing games, it would change on the hour if it was if it was raining or snowing or anything like that. Uh, the weather would change on the hour, so you could predict it. Like, you know, you had 45 minutes until it had a chance of going away. In the very first game, it would rain or snow for a solid day, and it wouldn't go away until midnight. But uh, in the case of this game, it can pretty much come and go whenever it pleases. I think it's every 15 minutes it has a chance of changing, though, but I swear that I've had times where it hasn't been a multiple of 15 and the weather changed, so technically it could stop at any time. I'm going to just kind of comb the beach for a little bit, but just saying, it's very cold out. I think I need to change into something else. I don't have the results for that hat contest quite yet, but I have an idea. This was submitted in my last clothing contest by Andre Jor, I think is how you pronounce it. Here we go. Yes, the Okami jacket. I like this one quite a bit, and I think I'm going to hang on to this one just because it's something that was made by you guys, presumably. Um, speaking of that, while I am out here fishing, which I'm probably going to mess up because I'm doing live commentary, I just want to say, I've had some people tell me, like, hey, you know, the peach dress was not original. That was on Nintendo of Japan's website. Thing is, I was saying that, you know, I'm glad that somebody who made a really, really good one won, like, when I was making the video. Keep in mind that when I made that video, I hadn't looked at any of the entries. It was just a complete surprise at whatever John picked. I hadn't looked at it yet. And honestly, I did say in contests like that that you can submit pre-made stuff. I don't mind that. Just, you know, if you are the first one to submit it, the idea of it, you know, I am still cool with that. And I've been getting a lot of people telling me, like, hey, you know, so you shouldn't give him credit. Thing is, John judged that contest, not me. Like I said, you know, I thought it was pretty clear in the video, and it's just that I know that it was from Nintendo Japan's website, but I still don't really have an issue with the fact that something that was submitted that was pre-made won. I mean, I w it's not like I wasn't going to wear original stuff, and hey, Pietro! Hey, look at you, Emil. I'm feeling, well, mega generous today. Oh, wow! He reached into his wool and pulled out a leaf. A rocking horse just for you. Oh, it's in the much, but don't worry. A whole lot of nothing adds up to a ton of uh, weight. Uh, I think I'm rather wrong. Anyway, enjoy the gift. Typically, it's big fish shadows that are going to have what you want if you go out here in the rain or the snow. Actually, no, it's always going to be a big fish shadow. What the heck am I saying? They all have consistent shadows. Come on! Oh, 
Oh! That was probably it because I missed it. Dang it. Oh, baby. I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh, uh, what? Not what I was expecting. Uh, something new, though. Oh, man. I think this is it. Come on. Holy fish sticks! I caught a coelacanth! Am I saying it right? Yes, it is pronounced coelacanth, not coelacanth. As much as most people think of that. Now, the coelacanth is a... Well, it was thought to be a prehistoric fish that had been extinct for some time. But in the past century or so, there was a live coelacanth that was found off the coast of Australia. And I believe... I don't know if any more have been found since then. Hey, fortune cookie that I dropped because I ran an inventory space. Yeah, we'll be doing the daily fortune in a bit. I... I'm going to be eating a fortune cookie that was on the ground, and uh, one that was out in the snow, but I'll still eat it nonetheless, because I love you guys. But, I gotta say, I love how he catches a rare prehistoric fish, or at least thought to be prehistoric fish, that very few people have ever seen. And the first thing you can think about is fish sticks! <laughs> Biscuit, you wanna talk? Hey! Wanna suggest me a public works project? Hmm. Do you guys feel like something is missing in sound? Oh man, he's gonna suggest one! Oh, I know what we need! A balloon arc! If you agree to add it, I could put one right up here, dog. Uh, I don't know if we can put one right here, Biscuit, because we got like a rock and a body of water and the train station, but I'm kind of thinking about maybe giving Biscuit his wish and putting a balloon arc as close to that as I can fit it. Alright, so I'm going to donate the coelacanth to Blathers, of course. And we'll do the Daily Fortune. Super TNT is closed. Yeah, it is... Let's see, it's 10.30 at night right now. It is... It took a ludicrously long time for me to catch that thing. It was ugh, so painful. Usually I catch coelacanths without much time passage, but for some reason, I just couldn't do it. Well done, so daily fortune it is. I can't really turn in for an item quite yet, but we can at least see what it is. There was a fortune inside, let's see. He who believes he has appeared to just means- I got a third Triforce, really? I have the tri triforce <laughs> jeez. That's getting, uh, okay, I gotta admit, not that I'm complaining about getting multiple Triforces, don't get me wrong, but it just, I wanna get something different, I'm sorry. Anyway, I wanna head over here to the, uh, left room on my first floor and show you some progress, because, yeah, things are a little bit too crowded in here now, I can't even use this awesome new ice bed, yeah, sleeping in a bed made of pure ice. And then again, there are hotels that do that up north, I don't know. But, um, yeah, this is what things are looking like. Really, really cool. I like this uh, ice lamp. How, like, it's an ice crystal, like, with a little light inside. That's a really cool idea. It's a nice room and all, but I feel like it is getting way too crowded in here, and we're due for an expansion anytime now, so we might do that. All right, now I would like to show the upstairs. And as crowded as space under the tree is getting, I think that Pietro's gift to me earlier, the rocking horse, fits in really, really nice there. It's another little toy that we can just kind of put by the tree, and it just fits in, and it's really good. In fact, the garden gnome, I think, should go elsewhere. Let's, uh, let's do that. There we go. We got the rocking horse there. And, uh, we'll put the garden gnome right over here. And that's what the house is looking like. I like it. But I think that's pretty much it. I think we better get to bed, uh, well, I can't really say early. It's 10.30 now, but... Early-ish for my standards. Tomorrow in Animal Crossing New Leaf. It's Toy Day! I kind of hope that somebody was keeping track of what the presents are that the animals wanted, because I don't know. <laughs> I know a few, but I didn't remember all of them, and I'm kind of worried. And not only is it Toy Day tomorrow, but we are going to experience my favorite holiday in Animal Crossing, as well as my favorite song in Animal Crossing. And they remix it each game. I have not heard what they have redone. I've not heard what they've done with the Christmas Eve song in this particular game. So I'm gonna be hearing it for the first time tomorrow, and hopefully many of you will too. See you guys tomorrow.